Backstory. In this video, I'm going to be talking about backstory, how it's there to help you, uh, some ways you can do a little bit of research, and uh, how to use backstory for all it's worth. Uh, so we'll be talking about that, and by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to create a unique backstory for your character to get into role-playing right away. Backstories are very important for giving you ideas and spurring forward on your creativity. It helps push you forward and bringing new ideas. It's a bit of a springboard. So uh, the first thing about backstories is realizing that they are there to help you. You're not there to serve a backstory. The backstory is there to serve you as the author. Now, if you're here, either your curiosity brought you here or maybe you're working on a backstory right now, it's very easy when starting out to be a bit intimidated by some of the amazing backstory that you probably see a lot of role players write. If you're new, it's a bit difficult to kind of comprehend because you look at it and you think to yourself, wow, I wish I wish I could do something like that. I wish I could write such an elaborate backstory. This person has it all together. Well, a couple things about that. First, they didn't start out that way. And two, you eventually, if you want to write a backstory like that, that's eventually something you'll be able to do. And of course, you're playing with that character for years, right? MMORPG roleplay is long form, so you have plenty of opportunities to go revisit that backstory, tweak a little things here and there, uh, because it can be rather malleable for you. But the backstory's purpose is to, is to provide a reason for where your character is and why they are there. This isn't something that's meant to hold you back. If you think creating a backstory is holding you back and that's a difficult thing to do and you're a bit frustrated with it, that's okay. But I think what may help is reframing a bit when it comes to the backstory and realizing that everyone has a place where they've come from, right? Everyone was born somewhere. So if you're looking at the world in which you're going to be role-playing in, what are some of the major cities? If you're playing in Star Wars, you usually have a good selection of planets to choose from. I have a character from Drum and Cots. I have a character from Mandalore. What's that tell you from someone who's a Mandalorian? If they want to role-play that kind of character and they come from Mandalore, that's a pretty big deal for them. And what about a Twi'lek that comes from Ryloth. What's that tell you about them, given the history of Twi'lek in Star Wars? Things like that. In Final Fantasy XIV, you have several major cities to come from. Gredania is a great place for hunters. Lenosha is a wonderful place for pirates. And Oda, the Golden City, the Golden Jewel in the Desert. The Jewel in the Desert, one of those two. It's, of course, known for its very greedy and corrupt merchantile class and whatnot. Ruled by the wealthy upper class, but a great place to go if you want to play a more skeevy person, kind of seedy, underbelly of the city. Or maybe just a really profitable, do-good merchant, because sometimes those little philosophical uh, disagreements can spawn some fun role-playing events. Things like that. It can be a lot of fun. When it comes to your backstory, you're going to want to learn how to research a little. And the nice thing is that it actually doesn't take too long to do the research. A common mistake with the new role players is they tend to think that they need to know everything about the lore of the game that they're playing. And that is extremely daunting. I'm going to tell you this, I've been role playing for years, I don't know most of the lore of the games that I'm playing. I know a good bit, I know enough to get me going. And then of course I will admit when it comes to like Star Wars role play, I've looked into more and more lore over time to where I'm quite knowledgeable on a lot of the extended universe in Star Wars. Um, it's good to do some research and what I would say my big takeaway for this is uh, don't get lost in the woods. It's super common when you're starting out to try to go into more and more lore research, right? You got to know everything. You got to know the right stuff. You know, for example, Draenei in World of Warcraft, they're ancient. They're usually, you know, 2,000 years old or more. And so you need to think of things like, well, where were they in this time? Where were they in that time? If they were 2,000 years old, then what does that mean for all these major historical events that occurred throughout the timeline of the Draenei, as well as the Azerothian timeline, right? And how does that affect them? Well, the good news is you don't have to know everything. Uh, so don't worry about that. But it's good to research it and kind of know a little about it. Um, one thing I really recommend is, I mean, you're here on YouTube right now, right? So go ahead up in the search bar. After you finish watching the video, go ahead up in the search bar and uh, think about the race that you want to play in your MMORPG and just run a search for it. I'm sure you'll find some awesome videos by some really cool people that give you a brief history of the lore or just catch some of the important things. You know, you want to know you want to know the basics, for example, uh, how old my character is probably going to be in history, uh, what planet they come from, if they're from another planet, or, you know, what city or region they typically come from. 
and uh, just go for uh, the nice nugget size information just to kind of give you a little, little detail. You know, well, the backstory served the purpose of getting you into the spot where you need to be in order to begin role playing. So let's go and do the kind of the third subject of this video is using your backstory for all it's worth. You don't want to look at backstories as a log of historical events. To me, that can be very dull. A log of historical events for your characters and different dates and times that things happen. If you enjoy that, go ahead and do that. But don't feel that that's what a backstory needs to be. Rather, in thinking about how backstories are there to serve your character, think about where you want your character to be. Think about what goals you want your character to have. And think about, you know, how your character got to where they are today. Or perhaps in the occupation where they find themselves. And if you're an open role player, remember, your character can already be established. They can already have a good bit of reputation for having helped um, several people out and helped out innocents or helped out the city. Or maybe they've been a merchant for a while and some people, you know, recognize them. They're renowned. Maybe they're a famous entertainer that's always there in the goblet and people go, Oh, hey, it's her again. We, everyone loves the Makoti that comes running by. We see her every weekend. She's great. And those are things that you can put in there because your character can already be experienced and already be renowned, especially in open role play. You know, it's not totally dichotomous, but you kind of get the idea. So think about where you want your character to be and what kind of goals you want them to have. So if you're going for an adventure guild, you probably have a character whose goal is to be important, to receive fame, glory, and renown for their great deeds and service to others. And they tend to make a good living from doing things like that. So. Maybe something happened in their past which brought them into the line of adventuring. Maybe even their parents guilted them into becoming an adventurer because your father was an adventurer and his mother was an adventurer and then her parents, they both were heroes in this war. And their characters fought so this city-state had independence from this other city-state and that's what's expected of you. So we're going to drop you off on the Adventurer's Guild doorsteps on your 18th birthday and good luck. You know, things like that. Where it kind of gives you a reason to be there and a go to pursue, right? If you want to make a pop star, for example, for open role play, if you want to grow into it more organically, then you want to have some kind of background. Maybe you have a character that played an instrument for years and years. Maybe they always had fans in the hometown where they came from, but after they left home, it became a little bit more difficult for them. The competition was fierce. After all, there's a lot of great bars out there, right? So what does she begin doing? She begins going to different city-states. She starts talking to people, playing her music, and gaining a bit of reputation. People start gathering around and listening to her. She's amazing. I can't wait to hear it again. Next thing you know, she's been invited to go over to the amphitheater and start playing her music there. So you have a lot of uh, potential for directions you can take your character. But think of the backstory as something to serve you. Something to serve you and getting you where you need to be to begin role-playing. What kind of character do you want to make? What do you want their goals to be? What kind of personality do you want them to start with? Or maybe even grow in, you know, if you want them eventually to grow in a certain type of personality. Think about that in regards to your backstory. Start putting those building blocks in. And I would say keep it as brief as possible, especially if you're very new to role playing. Keep your backstory as brief as possible. That way you're not overwhelming yourself. Do as little research as you need. Do a little research just for the essential. You don't have to know all the lore to get into Final Fantasy role playing. You really don't have to. And especially with a, a game like World of Warcraft, the lore is so daunting. Um, you don't have to read all the books to get into World of Warcraft role playing. There's a lot of books. And some role players are really into that and they will read them. The thing is, you don't have to. Same with Star Wars. So much lore in the extended universe. So many different games. So many different books and comics. You don't have to know all that just to get into it. Learn what little you need in order to get the ball rolling, and you'll eventually learn the more you're in there. Because when you're in a great role-playing community, if you're in like a guild that does progressive role-play, you're going to be around other hardcore role-players, which are great people to talk to, to bounce ideas off of, to learn things about lore you never knew about. Uh, most of what I ended up learning from Star Wars came from talking to other people in a very big Star Wars guild that was all for role-players. There are a lot of people in there who did read the books, a lot of people in there who maybe never read the book, but they were very knowledgeable on it. One person in there was super knowledgeable on role-playing in the Star Wars universe. They knew all the stuff about lore. And admittedly, if you ask them, they actually had never seen a single Star Wars movie. And they never intended to. But they just really loved the lore from the different comic books, what they found online, through YouTube videos, and from different books and novels. Never watched the movies, 
but they really enjoyed what they had read from online. So just keep that in mind. Don't think that you need to learn everything there is to know about the lore in order to get into it. Don't look at the backstory as daunting. Look at the something that serves you. Stay out of the woods. It's so easy to, you know, get lost in the woods, to head down the rabbit hole from one video to the next. It can be very fun if you're there for entertainment. But don't let that distract you from the purpose of your backstory. The purpose of your backstory is to establish why your character is where they are when you begin role-playing. What do they want to do? What are they like? And how do they get there? Those three things, simple as that. Hope you enjoyed the video. There's plenty more to come. There's a playlist right over there if you want to check out some of the other videos I'm making on role-playing. So has this helped you? Have you written backstories before? Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have some tips and tricks of your own for backstories you'd like to share. Um, and I thank you for watching the video. There's plenty more to come. Bye.